Hello, we now move on to session number five and this session continues with the terms and phrases relating to military law and as I had pointed out in the earlier session, uh, these uh, words have been arranged in an alphabetical order. Moving on, uh, condone. Now this is an authority where subsequent law enforcement action can be brought to a halt and it means to forgive or overlook an offense. Obviously, the authority to condone an offense is at the highest level, that is the chief of the army staff. Conspiracy is a term used also in the law of crime. It's an agreement of two or more persons to do an unlawful act or to do a lawful act but by unlawful means. Convening order is a document which is an order for the assembly of the court martial for trial of accused persons. However, this term is also used when an investigation by court of inquiry is uh, desirable and uh, this convening order gives uh, space for the investigations to begin. A core is a separate body of persons prescribed as a core for the purpose of all or any of the provisions of the Army Act. I'll explain it a little further. Uh, say uh, there is a regiment of artillery or infantry, corps of engineers. These are all prescribed as a core under the Army rules and uh, the implication is that one is enrolled into a core and without getting a proper discharge, if he goes and tries and get enrolled, join or sneak in another court, that's a court martial offense. Court martial is a court, ad hoc court, consisting of officers of the Army, Navy, or Air Force for trial of offenses uh, under the military law. Court of inquiry is an assembly of officers or one of more officers, warrant officers, and NCO. That means a court of inquiry can consist of officers as well as JCOs, warrant officers, and NCOs. Uh, it is to, in a matter of discipline, carry out an investigation or probe to unearth facts. It is directed to collect and record evidence and where so required, report with regard to any matter referred to it. And the report of a court of inquiry comes in the form of its findings and opinion. Court witnesses are those witnesses which are called by any court partial during the passage of its trial. Criminal court means a court of ordinary criminal justice in any part of India. So while the proceedings are taking place on the civil side it is known as a criminal court. Custody, taking a person into arrest, when a person is held by law enforcement or investigating authorities or the judicial custody. And therefore, please understand that custody can be ordered as a process or in the form of law enforcement or during the passage of a investigation by the investigating authorities or it may even be judicial custody. Customs, a custom of service or a custom comes out after a long standing established practice which by common use have attained the force of law in the military or other community affected matter. And therefore, if one wants to highlight or stress that it is a custom then one has to produce evidence that it has been used over a long standing time. Damage is the next term. It means injury suffered from an illegal act. Decoration refers to the awards, disciplinary awards, uh, gallantry awards given to a person. 
next term defense council it is the council who is engaged by or for one or more accused persons to represent them at trial by court martial so in a court martial an accused either can engage uh, an advocate himself or a number of accused in case of a joint trial they may collectively get in counsel to represent them at court martial defending officer is an officer subject to military law who represents an accused at a trial by court martial now therefore the two terms which i have just explained defense counsel is an advocate whereas defending officer is an officer in whom an accused may repose confidence and may say that he wants to engage such or such officer for his defense at a court martial he is called defending officer defraud means to deprive by deceit or induce a man to act to his injury so whenever an action is claimed to be a fraud then there has to be some deceit or injury and in the absence of two the act cannot be construed as a defraud delay report is the report submitted by the commanding officer of an accused who is held in custody and a need to submit or initiate a delay report arises only after 8 days when a court martial for his trial having been ordered to assemble has not assembled or a court has not been assembled has not been convened then a commanding officer is expected to initiate a delay report desertion relates to leaving the service now it's a very serious military offence during active service it may involve uh, infliction of death penalty and the sentence offence involves an intention on the part of a person either never to return to the service means somebody who deserts the service doesn't want to continue with military service anymore and the second eventuality is that by going away by absenting himself he wants to avoid some important military duty now just to illustrate say a body of troops is going out sailing out to take part in another theater in a war or say like it used to go to world war now somebody who knows that at this time the ship will sail out becomes absent and presents after the ship has gone so in this case obviously his intention was to avoid going with his company or battalion to war and therefore this is called constructive desertion now this is so far as offense of desertion is concerned detachment means every separate body of person subject to the army act which is not a corps or a department now the body may be like a platoon or a company and it is not a core then it's called a detachment disability is in relation to employability of a serviceman further and what it means is deprivation of ability it may be deprivation of ability to hear or to see or to walk and the like discharge is a term used in the context of persons below officer rank that means jcos warrant officers other ranks it is used under army rule 13 and this is an administrative measure bringing service to the end so it means separation when discharge takes place a separation from military service dismissal is a court martial punishment under army act section 71e section 71 lists out various punishments that can be awarded by court martial so dismissal can either or can be either by way of a punishment awarded by court martial it can also be as an administrative measure disqualification is the term used in the context of failure or inability to meet the parameters of personal qualifications of an officer to serve as a member of the court martial so when a convening order is issued certain number of officers are named to serve 
on the court martial of a particular person on a particular charge sheet. Now, if any of those officers named as member have certain disqualification, then they become ineligible to serve in that court martial. They cannot. They are not fit to serve and they are not acceptable to serve as a member of that court martial. Dissolution is the term used when a court martial is to be made null or abrogated or it is to be revoked. Means a court martial when it is intended that it should be brought to an end then it is dissolved. Disturbed area is a term used when the armed forces are employed in aid of civil authorities. It's an area in which there is a breakdown in law and order situation necessitating adoption of a special security measures. Then that area is handed over to the armed forces who are deployed in that disturbed area. Enemy is the term which is quite wide. It not only means a soldier belonging to the opposite side which is at war but it also means all armed mutineers if certain persons have uh, entered into a mutiny and they are armed then they would also be enemy armed rebels rioters pirates or any other person in arms against whom it is the duty of a person subject to military law to act so it is a wide term used in the context of all these which I just highlighted to you. Enrollment or enroll is a process of getting into an army and uh, to place a man's name on the rolls or the sheet of uh, any body of soldiers that is the process of enrollment by which one becomes part of the army. Enrollment paper is the legal evidence that's the paper which is produced as a legal evidence of the enrolled person having given the answers to the questions which he is therein represented as having given. Now, for example, a person is asked, are you a citizen of India? He says, yes. This is your home address. Yes. Uh, what is your date of birth? And these questions and the answers which are recorded in response by that person, that's what is shown in the enrollment paper. False accusation making an uh, accusation which is not true. It may be verbal or written which is bereft of reasonable evidence but has been made to some superior authority which would lead to the later exercising his authority by inquiry or otherwise. So false accusation would be said to have taken place when a junior or even a colleague makes out uh, an accusation which he knows is not true against somebody else. It may be in writing, it may be verbal. Field area is an area where troops are near the border or operational requirements. So the area say on the border with the China or with Pakistan or in uh, Northeast, they may be called border areas. Field officer is a term which is used for officers of the rank of major and above. They are all called field officers. Final address is uh, the presentation or submission made by the prosecution and in the event where the accused does not call any witnesses, then that address made by the prosecutor is called final address. Finding is the decision or the verdict of a court martial on every charge on which an accused is arraigned. Now, supposing there are two charges that against an accused at his trial by court martial, one is for absence without leave, and second is doing away or making away with an equipment. Now, on both these charges, the court will have to give its finding uh, verdict, and that verdict is known as finding, and it is recorded simply as guilty or not guilty. Fraudulent enrollment, when a person absents himself from one core and re 
and rolls in the same or another pore. To illustrate, give an example. A person is serving in infantry and without taking a discharge, he goes and tries to get himself enrolled, say, in mechanized infantry or armored corps, artillery. So this will be called an act of fraudulent enrollment. Friend of the accused is a term who is of the choice of an accused and who represents an accused at a trial by court martial. Friend of the accused may be of any rank, not necessarily an officer. He can be a JCO or even another rank. And he may or may not have any legal qualifications. Hearing of charge. Now, this is the first stage, the first step in law enforcement in the investigation of charges against a person who is subject to military law. And hearing of charge is carried out by the commanding officer and it is done in the presence of the accused. So, the accused is called produced before the commanding officer and he says it is said that yesterday you were intoxicated. You were not in control of yourself. So what do you have to say? So this is what is hearing of charge. Hosty combat is a term used in international humanitarian law and this refers to a person who is in the power of the adverse party means that he is being captured come into the custody of the opposite side or it may refer to a person who exhibits uh, an intention to surrender. He shows the white flag. He doesn't want to fight anymore or he has been rendered unconscious or is otherwise incapacitated by wounds or sickness and is therefore incapable of defending himself. Say a person has been injured and the injuries are of such an extent that he is lying unconscious. He cannot defend himself. Then it will be said that he is also a hostile combat. And in any of these situations, if he becomes all right or otherwise engages an intention to fight with the opposing force, then he loses that status of hostile combat. Immunity. It is a personal favor granted by law, contrary to general rule, an exemption from general duty or burden. Now, all ranks if in a battalion are required to carry out certain act and one person who is exempted, then it would be said that he is immune and it is used in section 30 of uh, the Army Act. Impediment means disability, hindrance or obstacle. Now any of these things, disability, hindrance or obstacle in doing something, then it would be said that there is an impediment. Impressed is the cash assignment in the nature of permanent advancement. Each unit is authorized certain amount of government funds to be kept as cash to meet emergent requirements and this is what is known as impressed. Inquate proceedings are where the proceedings of a court martial due to certain reasons have not been completed. In other words, they are incomplete. The court martial has come to a halt. It cannot go ahead. Then the proceedings till that stage would be said to be inquate proceedings. Incidental question is one which may refer to any point of law, evidence or procedure. When a trial is taking place and uh, prosecution or defense is carrying out examination of witness and some question which comes up before the court relating to say evidence, procedure or point of law, then it is called an incidental question. Moving on, insubordinate language. Uh, where some words are used which are insulting or disrespectful to a, another person. Normally in the context of a superior officer or a higher officer, then the person who has used such words would be alleged to have used insubordinate language.
For example, a senior asks a junior to report to him, say, at 9 o'clock the next morning. And this person turns back and says, I will not come. You do whatever you want. Now, these words would be said to be insubordinate. And it's an offense for a junior to use insubordinate language with regard to his senior. Judge advocate is a person, it's nature of a function. Uh, judge advocate is appointed by the convening authority in the convening order. He is required to advise the court on all points of law, of custom and of the form in which court martial takes place. Proceedings are recorded and he is also expected to invite their attention if there has been any deviation from all these things that is points of law, customs or of the form of court martial. Lawful command is a term used often and command means an order. So lawful command is a command which is specific to an individual and is justified by military and as well as by civil law and usage. So it is lawful command that means it should be justified by military law or civil law. It must have reference to a time, some time when by, by which this order is to be obeyed. It cannot be a vague order that you complete this work and come to me. Well, that is vague at which the time is to be obeyed and the disobedience to a lawful command must impede, delay or prevent a military proceeding. That's also one of the ingredients that if the lawful command is not obeyed, then its consequences must be visible in terms of some military proceedings having been impeded, delayed or prevented. Local order is an order which is issued and applicable to a distinct geographical area or unit. So if the troops are say in Kashmir Valley and certain order is given only with regard to say Baramula, then it would be said it's a local order which is applicable only in the context of Baramula. Malinga is the term where somebody pretends illness or infirmity which does not exist. So somebody says, oh, I am totally helpless. I can't move my hand or I've got severe pain in my left knee. And he presents those symbols or those signs as if he is actually hurt, but which he is not. So it would be said that he is malingering. Missing. A person who is not present at his or her duty place due to apparent involuntary reasons and his location is unknown, then he is missing from duty. Moral turpitude is an offense or it's an act which constitutes an offense which is of a dishonest or immoral nature. So where the offense is suggestive of a dishonest or immoral intention, then it would be said that it is a moral turpitude offense. Multiplicity, it is used in relation to a defect in charge where a single transaction is made the subject matter of one or more charges. So uh, say that uh, a person is accused of having committed theft and if in relation to the, that act of theft, Two or more charges are made, then it would be said that it is suffering from duplicity. Mutiny, a very serious offense. It means collective insubordination or a combination of two or more persons to resist or to induce others to resist military, lawful military authority. And this verse uh, would have made it clear to you that mutiny cannot be done by one person alone. The law expects minimum two persons or more than they, if resist a lawful authority, then it would be said that their conduct is mutinous, mutiny in nature. Non-commissioned officer 
is an officer without a commission who by his position in the regiment and by virtue of the power attached to his position exercise control over those who are junior to him private soldiers he is called an ncio and non combatants includes those civilians and certain military personnel such as religious personnel or medical personnel who are called non combatants non recordable very clear this is used in terms of entries of censor awarded by way of administrative action taken and where record is not to be made in the dossier or in the record sheet of that person concerned then it is said that he has been given an award which is non recordable in nature on the other hand there may be order censors administered which are recordable open arrest means a detainee a situation where a detainee a person who has been detained he can take exercise at stated periods say in the morning or in the afternoon within the unit area premises he must not however appear out of uniform or at any place of amusement etc he can go for a movie if he is under open arrest and wherever he is outside his room or barrack or where he is detained should be dressed in uniform opening address you had heard final address now this is opening address this is made by the prosecutor explaining the charge and outlining the facts and the evidence which he proposes to call to prove those facts now opening address as the name indicates is right at the beginning of a trial when the trial has produced uh, has commenced and produce prosecutor gets up and he says i am giving my opening address the matter relates to a match which was taking place in a playground between two parties uh, two teams both were of soldiers and then a fight broke out in which criminal force was used say sticks and um, hockeys were used and this is what i will show bring out by way of evidence of certain witnesses so this is the opening address orderly room is the court of the commanding officer when a charge is brought against the men of his regiment who are investigated and then sentence passed Uh, it all takes part uh, by way of one action. Next is other punishments. Now, this word "other punishment" is used in the Army Act in the regulations for the Army. These are two other punishments: extra drill that can be given maximum for 15 days uh, for two hours every day. or reduction to a lower class of pay for a period not exceeding 28 days both these are included in other punishments which can be given uh, this brings me to the end of today's session and the meaning and words which i just elaborated they all concern military they should be understood properly understood then only one would know their purpose and implication